So hello, everyone. This is Otessa, and you are listening to Conversations with Hysterical Women. That's Women with an X, the Hysterical Women podcast, where you are all welcome here, friends, allies, everywhere across the rainbow, across the binary. I'm just really glad to have you be here. And this is meant to be a safe space to explore all of the weird things that life throws at us and all of the different ways in which we can be twisted and torn asunder, but also all the different ways that we can come back together. So thank you for listening, and I'm glad that you're here and going to be cheesy, but comment, like, subscribe. I'm Tiffany Harris. I live in Washington, D.C. I work in the tech sector, but I'm also a social justice activist and community builder, and you are listening to Conversations with Hysterical Women. Awesome. So um, I follow you on Instagram because your content's really awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and so you seem to really be in, um, into physical fitness and wellness. And a topic that we cover a lot for the podcast is well-being and self-care because it's something that's important for everyone. And um, we feel that so often self-care is like commercialized mm-hmm. and is made to be glamorous. But sometimes self-care is laying in bed until noon Absolutely. with your teeth unbrushed <laughs> and your bonnet on your head and just not looking so glamorous. Yep. Yep. So, um, but physical fitness definitely does tie into self-care. And I'm someone who I'm, I've always, um, I've always desired to be physically fit but I've also I've, I've always battled with laziness so um like for physical fitness for you were you always fit or was it like a journey you had to take to get to that place because you seem to like really be killing it you just you just came Thank back you and I just saw something on Instagram you um just ran Did a race yeah I do yeah. a lot of stuff like that now I am dating someone my partner he owns a few gyms here in the city and so it's been very easy for me because I also have the battle between, but like if he's going in the morning, he's like driving and literally all I have to do is show up and like drink a cup of coffee to like get myself awake. Mm-hmm. So um, my approach is to just like build it in your life and make it as easy as possible because I have aspirations about wanting to, you know, keep my routine, but then do yoga X amount of times a week, meditate get my cardio, get my running. And it's really like, I'm going to do like what works for me, what works for my schedule. And that's the approach I would take. Don't try to like force, you You know, there is like a degree of like putting yourself in like an uncomfortable situation and pushing your body to some type of limit, but like make it work for you, make it work for your needs. And everyone's approach is different. That's Mm -hmm. like, yeah, what I take. And I think I totally agree with what you were saying that it's very commercialized and very transactional. And I think what we see represented is that there's one type of way to be fit and to be healthy and um that's just not the reality everyone is so incredibly different what your body needs is different the amount of sleep the amount of cardio versus meditation so 